Okay, so good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna start the first match, well, for us in the commentary team at least, and I'm here with Rainbow Man. Good afternoon, I'm Rainbow Man. <laughs> well, welcome, Rainbow Man. It's good to have you with us. I think your first uh, commentary match here. Yeah, thanks for dragging me into this. Okay. And well, so the bell starts. <laughs> the old classic so we, can <laughs> we can see they have three support specialists and one sharpshooter. Something we haven't seen before? <laughs> How do you think this will go? I have no idea. Um, we had, you know, before there's three other matches. I see a lot of shotguns being bought here. Couple I see two issues. hunting Gosh, shotguns. Grab it while it's hot. And Ooh, a it's 12 money. Yeah, so previously we had two other teams. Uh, MGC, who did really well. Who scored the time under 18 minutes. Oh, nice. So that uh, they are top leader at the moment. And then we had a couple other guys who started kiting. They didn't make it. One reached wave 7. And the other ran out of time and sort of uh, died in a petty wave. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Alright, the wave's starting. Okay, so I think they're gonna hold this 10th spot here. Oh, that's an interesting spot. Quite surprised. Yeah, I've held this before also in uh, pop games. Huh. I think it's a fantastic spot, and uh, but you could get sandwiched here. Yeah, it looks like there's two access points, and I actually wonder if one of them will get blown away by a husk. You know what the most freaky part is about this spot? The tent in the middle doesn't have any cover. Ah, uh, yes. So, so the siren could give you an, uh, a good yellow for there. <laughs> a Where? nice little ear-splitting headache. Yeah. Got a first quake. Oh, they got stunned. Ooh, and... Twins. Didn't do too much damage to a uh, special crow over there. They got some... Ah, and they got it dead. That was great stuff by the sharpshooter there. Yeah. yeah. Double squeak, no problem. And let's take a look. There's special Ed. He's holding on the other side of the flank with his good yeah. old uh, KSG. There isn't so much sets coming from that side. You know, most of the stuff actually comes from the other side. Mm -hmm. The surprise fact that get most people. Oh yes. I've known I've been surprised quite a few times. <laughs> that have, you, have you actually hold this spot before, uh, Rainbow? I've actually never used this spot before. It's uh, something new to me. To be honest, never actually played Steamland before. Wow. So this is a new experience for me as well. Let's see. Special yeah. Crow's running pretty low on ammo right now for his uh, A12. No, they have to be a last? little bit careful because uh, there's a chance there's somebody falls off the tent. Uh, I mean, your banger problem. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. So, oh, stun the Scrake. Kill the Siren. It's running. He took one hit, but he still looks like he's okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really surprised that I see three support specialists here. Mm. And we haven't seen this before, so... Yeah, they're plowing through it pretty well. And there's the Scrake. And actually, three minutes, and we you know, they just beat sort of wave six here. If they can keep this up, they'll be about three minutes per wave. They'll, If they can keep this up, let, they'll probably hit around 18 minutes. How long do you think they'll take this time? I think they're gonna do something like um, 20 minutes, 21. I'm gonna say 24. Hmm. How, much money, how much money do you want to bet on that? Let's do the team sprite, huh? <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of... The petty is really hard, you know, a lot of people uh, underestimate that. So mm -hmm. It's going to be really interesting if they're going to okay, pass that. So I think 21, 20 is going to be a little bit that case. Loads of yep. money. They're getting a lot of HSG shotguns. Money, money, I mean, they're money. good, they're good. But... I'm, I'm still not quite used to it. Oh, they got a grey trader, which is sort of next mm -hmm. to the door. So, oh, they skipped and they just skipped about a total of 32 seconds. I hear a flash pound. Let's see how they handle it. So they're back in position. Oh, there it goes. Special, special pot is taking pot <laughs> shots on <laughs> little things. Oh, there's a flash pound. Okay, rip. And... Oh, I missed it. I didn't quite see what happened. Oh, 
Well, as you can see, these guys have so much power with the shotguns, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just... My main concern for them is running out of ammo. Yeah, the well. thing is, um, you know, you see that the... Um, you no, know, they definitely put a squeak killer in. Mm -hmm. So he does old double barrels. Yeah. And one of the things they actually, I think, could do is uh, switch positions. So let's mm -hmm. special ads come to special crow and special crow <laughs> replaces special ad. Yeah. Let's see how Ed's doing. He switches pistol, saving ammo. Good choice, good choice. And jump shooting. Mm. So would you, jump shooting. would you actually replace a demo for one of the supports, Rainbow? If you were Pardon? the team leader? Would you actually replace a demo? Uh, sorry, your support with a demo? Oh, please don't ask me. I'm a horrible team leader. <laughs> if if it were up to me, I'll have everyone become a berserker and get chainsawed. <laughs> <laughs> like in one of the last tournaments I played, I bought a chainsaw. Yeah, I think and, everybody... <laughs> uh, everyone remembers that, and as a result, I'm no longer invited to teams, and now I'm stuck here commentating. Yep, that's how it goes. Yeah. You only get one chance. And if you buy a chainsaw, well, you're pretty much blacklisted by every team out there. <laughs> I don't blame him. And this might have been planned. Don't tell them that. Yeah, so Tripwire did up the game. You know, they used that whitelist, and then you played the game, and they started to blacklist you. Oh, good old blacklist. Okay. Hey, that was, that oh. was um, actually oh, wave no. 7. Special Crow fell off. Or jumped off. Oh wait, it's the end of the wave. What am I talking about? They're fine. Okay, we got two sirens in the back there. And um, once again, they did a sort of a three-minute job there. Hmm. Which is quite Stand impressive. Stand still, will you? I'm trying yeah. to heal you. If these guys keep it up, well... I think we got a few pretty good contenders this time. We're screwed! Leg it! Let's see. Let's oh. take a look at their loadouts. So... Here's looks like uh, everyone's got uh, everyone with sharps has an HSG and a uh, hunting okay, shotgun. Cashier, someone grab it. And the sharps got his crossbow and Mark Twenty Three. Yeah, that's I, um, different. I do can see their loadout a little bit. You know, they choose. Um, mm -hmm. They don't. They don't have all the same loadout. All the supports. You know, one got mm -hmm. an A twelve, and which is pretty good because the A twelve is great for clearance. Yeah. And um, when a flash spawn comes to you, and then the you know, the hunting Both shotgun a little bit for the for groups. You, you mm -hmm. Looks like they saved about uh, 14 seconds this time around. Yeah, very good. Still pretty good, but last time they saved about 30 seconds, and that was yeah, a bit less than last time. Yeah, last so time they like did a little bit. Uh, oh, we got a fish down there, and it's has got a scrape coming up. Can he? Ha Looks like a sharp's coming to help him. Oh. 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 Ooh, the flash bound, and they took out the flash bound. They got pushed back a bit, but it looks like they're recovering. Yeah, Crow was a little bit low in health, but um, getting quite a bit of heals. Who needs armor? Armor's overrated. Yep. Use your t-shirt. <laughs> Doing pretty good so far. Let's take a look at back at Ed. Oh, he killed that husk. Looks like a few more are coming his way now, and a bloat. Man, I didn't even see that stalker. But as you can see, they really put those three guys at the front. You know, this were yeah. so busy there, it's incredible. I so used to have Ed, no? Yeah, I used to play this spot also in pop games, and I... Um, oh, wow. We also put the demo in the middle, so it took out the groups. Hmm. Yeah, but that was for the uh, level 6 perks, right? So now, considering they're level 2... Yeah. They're doing pretty good. Yeah, really well. And the great thing about the demo is you can shoot, uh, you know, downstairs because they spawn both mm -hmm. left and right. So it's a great use of a demo here. Yeah, but they got uh, Mr. Potshot right there, taking pot shots at them. Special pots. <laughs> I know it's lame. Just, 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 just go, just go over, just go over, okay. Still going with the 25 oh. minutes mark, Rainbow Man? 
I'm gonna say 24 minutes. Still, 24. still sticking to that. Do you change your uh, change your mind about the 21? Yeah, I think I'm still 21. Yeah. I mean, you can right. wipe, you know, a little bit oh, more. There's a flash pound. How okay. are you going to deal with that? They have to throw grenades here. Yeah. Well, not anymore. Uh oh. Getting very close. Oh, there we go. Bam. Oh, they got it. Nice. Now he's got pushed away back. Oh. Look at that coming. Whoa. Everything's just coming, but the wave is almost... Oh, it's great. Okay, they're pulling back, which is really smart. Yeah. Wave's almost over, so we should make the wave towards a traitor. So that's going to be interesting. They sort of... I wouldn't say got defeated there, but were you know, a little <coughs> bit risky. So that's going to be interesting. How's that going to go to any wave 10, you know? Yeah, it's going to be a bit... And that signal just indicates a 10 minute mark. Yeah. We're doing pretty well so far. Oh. Absolutely. 10 minutes they almost lost. They no almost lost special you. crow. That would be a 30 second penalty. But... But they're back well, at it. New mag in. <clears throat> this trader's a bit far from their original starting position, so... Do you think they'll take longer for a trader this round? Um, well, I think they do got a good jump by already moving to the next, you know, to the next spot. Hmm. So they sort of killed and, you know, went their way to the next trader. Yeah. But one of the common mistakes we see in the tournament, I don't see this tournament team doing that, is that they walk through the whole trader. You know, hmm. you don't have to um, get in, you just have to put your first feet in that trader and you're allowed to shop. Yeah, back when I played, I always walked all the way in. Before, right. there's always a collision and people blocking traders, those trolls. <laughs> yeah, some pub games in the past have not been very good. Yeah. Well, gladly, uh, the ghost mode was added later, so people can walk yeah. through each other. Oh, the good old days. Oh, looks like they skipped about... I lost track. Well, 20 seconds. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, we, we didn't see too much skater tripping this tournament, you know, because it was mm. a little bit more aimed at survival. Uh... Oh, oh, first flash pound around. Oh, uh, oh that grenade actually passed <laughs> right to him. That grenade but actually they... gave them in your face moment there. <laughs> but they survived. Oh, raging strike. Special crow tanked it, but I don't think he'd tank another one. Now there's one other thing which is going to be really interesting in wave 11. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to have as much pipes as they would. You know, because they're all support. Yeah. And um, so, you know, 1500 for a pipe is a lot of cash. That it is. But if they can conserve their ammo well, they might have a significant amount of cash remaining. Yeah. That's if they can conserve their ammo, but by the looks of it, they're... there's a lot of shots being fired. <laughs> and shotguns are pretty expensive. Wish everything was free, but it's not. Special Crow is just about out of armor. Getting chipped away by the little things. Ed's got to deal with a Scrake. He has backup from okay. the whole team, and it's dead. It's so it's done. so dangerous for him to move a little bit back there because um, you know things could spawn under that uh, piece of wood. Ah. Uh, so we could actually walk away, get back, and there's uh, you know the Adam family, stuff. the Adam family waiting. Uh, <laughs> Quite honestly, I don't think I want to encounter Adam's family in real life. They're rich, sure, but... <laughs> no, no thanks. So all three of them... Oh, and they're a flesh pound and a siren. They killed the siren first, and now... Okay, a lot of grenades, all the grenades get thrown. Oh, that was a great kill. They might have wasted one grenade, but... Eh. Okay, you can definitely see that these guys have practiced with this layout. Yep. You know, the, the timing on the shark moving back, you know, putting the grenades there, killing the Cyan first, that's just uh, pretty remarkable stuff. Yeah, some pretty good team team dynamic here. A lot of aggression as well, otherwise you just don't survive <laughs> at this spot. Well, what's the point of playing this game if you're not aggressive? If you're being safe, sure you may survive, but there's no fun. Put while I, I have to put a little bit of risk in it. Art wave eight. They're at one, uh, thirteen minutes. Yeah, great trader. Stay put while I heal you. And they walked all the way in. 
good stuff because they, they actually picked this time the front uh, entrance. Mm -hmm. you know, there's also a back entrance. Oh, this yeah. one always tripped me up. <laughs> we had, I think, one of the guys in previous matches who uh, walked the circle and uh, choose to go to the to the longer route version. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh, and here they come! Wow, so it's wave ten, and they're on fifty minutes. Yeah, that's impressive. So the twenty minutes mark is a pretty good guess. Yeah, but you you never know what can happen. Things, in this game, things can turn in Double a few flashy. seconds. Okay. Oh, two flash pounds. Shut the head. Okay. Oh, he blocked him right in front of the pike bombs. Ooh. And okay. they dealt with it pretty nicely. Yeah, very well done. Also, uh, a pipe who contributed to that. Yeah. So, Mr. Pot shot over there. He just blocked them off from walking right past the pipe bomb. Whenever I place pipe bombs, I always they always run right past the pipe bomb when they rage. I'm like, oh, there goes my pipe bomb, yeah. and that just that range just indicates the 15 minute mark. They're doing very well so far. Oh, I'm, I'm happy uh -oh. for them that uh -oh. they uh, that they walked over it and not some kind of bloat walked over it and wasted the pipe. Yeah, that just or too gore fast. <laughs> One pipe bomb <laughs> or too gore fast. Is it worth it? No, not at all. Oh, there's a lot of hus there. Yeah, jeez. Oh. They're all on fire. <laughs> Whoa. They're on fire, but not in a good way. No, this is getting barbecued. <laughs> yeah, husk are probably my worst thing to deal with. Back see, when see, I played this is what you just said. You saw that siren um, under the tents? Screaming? Oh, yeah. I have to be really careful with that. Oh, again. They're just standing there. But well, it looks like they're fine. Nothing effect too much. Look at those numbers going down, man. Jeez, it's it's. Yeah. 86 left. Looks like they're still doing pretty good on ammo. Yeah, this such an aggressive spot. <laughs> an aggressive team. Now a question: How come when I used to play with Ed, we never played like this? It makes me <laughs> think: Was I the problem? It must be classified. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, classified, classified. <laughs> so he's gonna do the pipe again. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, they got it. Okay. Okay. That should one behind it a scrake. They should have uh, one more flesh pounds left, and I <laughs> think I saw a light there in, in the far distance. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. They got pushed back. Can they push forward again? Okay. There's the flesh pounds. All right. Some crawlers sneaking behind. Oh, I think they're. Oh. This oh. <laughs> special crawl. Oh. Special there goes spot crow. crow. That's one minute. Okay, so if 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 Ed catches that slap, Ed can, Ed can uh, run around and survive it. Oh! Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. <laughs> and the team gets wiped. So this results in a penalty of four minutes. So their game time is about seventeen and a half. Four minute penalty. Yeah. Yeah, we don't really count the. Um, Stay put, you. You know, the, the spend the time in the tournament. Mm -hmm. So you sure you get your four minutes penalty, but we don't really. You know, uh, at all the time you already spent in wave 10. Money, money, money. Uh, Otherwise, the penalty would be too crucial. <laughs> well, it's a cruel world. So, do they have the same loadout? Well, once shown as before, wave 10 is a beast. Yeah. So, looks like they had the same setup again. That Bang. one flash pound just Okay, he should them. be super low health now. Yep. Yep, there goes the flesh pound. There's number two. Let's see how they do it. To the head, two, two grenades. Okay, they got it. That's... That's okay. holding the back. Have you ever played the objective mode version of this? That was a nightmare. Let's never talk about that ever again. <laughs> Yeah, I played the objective mode to say uh That that was a long time ago, but that was that was difficult. It was especially the welding scene. You know, you needed quite a bit uh, team coordination. To yeah. Get that fight. But, but when playing with pub people, there's always one person running away and they die instantly. Mm. And it's go like, "Why did you not stay of the team?" 
so I just went and became cannon fodder. Thank you, pubs. Hmm. Funny name, we actually had a team like that in the tournament, called Cannon really? Fodder. Really? Yeah. But were they cannon fodder? That's the question. Got a scrake. One headshot. Two headshot. Okay. And well, finish off at A12. We're reaching under the 100 sets, which is a little bit past halfway. Yep. Really good. But I think there's still a couple flash bombs coming, and that's where <laughs> they last time struggled a little bit with. Let's see how they deal with it this time. Okay, I hear something. And I think... Yeah, that ring indicates the 20 mad mark. Yeah. I think I'm winning the bet. <laughs> don't you think so? Well, let's hope they don't wipe with this, otherwise nobody wins the bet. Yeah, that's that's true. Oh. I, I would like to say I win. Oh. Damn, there you go. There goes another flesh pound. Finished and grilled. Well, Looks like Ed has deal two scrakes. He's got uh, special pots coming in to help. Nice one. And yeah, he seems to do really well at that backside. Ed. Yeah. Oh, they got two more scrakes coming in. Okay, I think they're now jumping down. Yeah, they're escaping. Okay, okay. to the trade. Twenty, 20 left. Not too bad. Yeah. Will so there be any more surprise flash pounds? I think the way they moved, they might have that trader at the spot. Yep. But maybe not. Maybe they go to the. Uh, one with the green light there. Uh, far one. Yep. Running strike. Uh oh. Okay, they're good. Okay, nine left. They're pretty good in armor this way compared to last one. Yeah. Well, they recovered well. Yeah. Not all teams can actually do that, you know, get back on feet and uh, <coughs> people lose their confidence sometimes with the restart. Yeah. When you lose momentum in games, then you just start going downhill pretty quickly. Yeah. Stand or when your ready. teammate buys a chainsaw. Give me a sec, I'm reloading. Right, right. Okay, 20 and a half for wave 11. Alright. We're okay, going to fight our stuff. Okay, we see a hand cannon here. Dual hand cannons, which... Oh. It's raining money! Interesting. A12. That seems to be a good choice. The golden A12. Loads I never saw the money. perks of having a golden weapon. I know it looks cool, but it's not worth the money. Because I'm poor. So, um... Yeah, probably the dual hand cannons were brought to uh, kill a little bit of that trash. Mm -hmm. Which is something we have, especially this tournament, you know, there's a lot of uh, unlimited children. Yes, that's right. They just keep coming yeah, and coming. one in each hand. <laughs> I'll show you. And he spawns on the roof. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna rocket them. <laughs> right in the face. So. Okay, he's down. Papa is down. Right there. Got a few shotguns in. He gets. Oh, what oh, a great dodge! It. What, what a great luck there by Ed, man. Yeah. And he walks right over the pipe bombs. Alright, so, so we got him down. That was so close. Unbelievable. Now there's clearing the trash. Okay, the petty's still on, the, on his way running and he's finding a spot to heal. He's actually around the left mm -hmm. corner there. Yeah. So they're holding up pretty well. They haven't lost any. They lost a little bit of armor on legs, hmm. but it's, they're doing pretty well. It's about to come into the front entrance. About now. There he is. He's cloaked and he's running oh. right at. Oh, there legs. goes one. Oh, he trapped legs. Oh. So that's a 30-second penalty. They got him down. Can they keep him here? Oh, oh, oh he got away. Which gives a little bit that flaming to follow him. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's sitting around the corner there. Yep. There's Ed throwing grenades at him. And, and he's back again. Oh, oh one in a pipe. Okay, great dodge there. Yep. A little bit more dodge here for the chainsaw. Okay, this is time to get them down. Okay. But they're down one. 50%, person. 10%, Nicely 5%, done. 4 and a half. Two. Yeah, it's pretty good dodging them. And like GG. Oh, they got it. 24 minutes, 21 seconds. I think I win. GG, Rainbow Man. <laughs> <laughs> so they skipped about almost two minutes in trader time. They had one team wipe, but they recovered very well. Good job, specials.